Welcome back to Good Days in Law. Here to tell us more about the zoo's Earth Day celebration is Katie Hirsch from the Alexandria Zoo. Katie, thank you for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me on. Of course, we love Earth Day. It's coming up yes. this week. Tell us how y'all plan on celebrating. Yeah, so we have a great event planned. We are on Saturday, April 22nd. We actually get to celebrate on Earth Day this year, which doesn't always happen. <laughs> we are having our party for the planet at the Alexandria Zoo and running 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And we have a lot going on at the event. We have over 10 community exhibitors that will be out showcasing their conservation passions and stories. And we will have educational opportunities with discovery cards, a recycled craft station where our young visitors will get the opportunity to make their own musical instrument out of recycled items as well as chances for our community members to make a pro-conservation action in their daily lives through a variety of ways. So when folks arrive at the event, they'll have the opportunity to get an item, either a reusable tote bag or milkweed seed packet. So that way in their own personal lives, they can create an impact for wildlife right here at home through reducing our plastic usage or creating food resources for our local invertebrates, our beautiful butterflies. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's what the milkweed does? Yeah, okay. so monarch butterflies specifically have to have milkweed seed as a part of their diet. Oh. They have to have that when they're in caterpillar form. Otherwise, they don't have that natural um, toxin that they get from the plant that they eat to help protect them into adulthood. Wow. So by planting milkweed seeds, you are specifically helping monarchs, which is a really easy thing to do in around your home, in your backyard, or even in some potted plants. And who doesn't want to attract butterflies into their yard? Exactly right. <laughs> we also have the opportunity this year for our visitors um, or any of our community members to purchase a Earth Day t-shirt. We're doing a fundraising program, so profits from the t-shirt sales go to the Zoo Conservation Outreach Group, um, which is an amazing organization that's been in conservation programming in the Americas for decades now, supporting animals like flamingos, jaguars, and Andean bears, just to name a few. And folks can visit our website, alexandriazoo.com, or go to the website Bonfire, which is the host site for the t-shirt sales, and visit the Friends of the Alexandria Zoo page to pick out their shirt option. And we have three different styles, so we have the classic t-shirt that I'm wearing today, a v-neck t-shirt and a tank top available in a variety of colors to match your personal preferences and including a variety of sizes pl uh, with plus sizes included. Awesome, great. And I think if you scan that QR code that you see on yeah. your screen right there, it'll take you to uh, to the link to get exactly right. a shirt. Yeah, and even if you're not able to join us on Saturday, purchasing a shirt um, any day this week will help support wildlife and wild places. Absolutely, yes. Now, okay, tell me why, um, you know, it's so important to really talk about all these topics, especially with our kids, too, oh, yeah. on Earth Day. So... Wildlife and wild places encounter challenges every single day. Humans are the best animal at changing the world around us to better suit our needs, but that doesn't always mean that it's supporting the wildlife and wild places. So talking with our kids, with our family, it doesn't have to just be kids. We're talking to the adults in our community and sharing and inspiring a passion for wildlife will in the long term help with us ensuring that wildlife and wild places are around for future generations. Absolutely, yes, and there are other things that they can do as well, too, yeah. you know, with conservation, recycling, things like that. Exactly. Tell me about those activities that y'all will yeah. specifically go so over. So, for our community uh, exhibitors that are participating in the event, I mentioned that they're all sharing their conservation passions. So, we have organizations like PNG attending, and they're going to be talking about water quality and protecting water, or we have groups like Royal Martin coming out and talking about forestry and sustainable forestry and how our needs can be supporting wildlife and wild places as well. We have glass act recycling coming out as well as hometown waste talking about cardboard for critters and recycling programs local to our community. Uh, lots of different ways to find out more about conservation right here in Semla. The education team for the zoo and our keepers hosting keeper chats throughout the day, an opportunity to talk to the primary caregivers of our zoo residents and find out more about the animals are gonna be showcasing storylines specific to deforestation. Loss of habitat is one of the biggest challenges that animals across the globe face. So here in central Louisiana, we dealt with deforestation for many years and our, the Louisiana residents made a change and brought back our amazing forests. And this change doesn't have to just be here. This topic line affects our globe and uh, supporting organizations 
uh, like the zoo conservation outreach group that the t-shirt supports helps protect animals in areas that are facing deforestation as well. Absolutely. What a great opportunity to talk to kids about that and, yes. and educate people in general mm -hmm. about it. Okay, remind us what time everything kicks off. Yeah, so 10 a.m. this Saturday, April 22nd, and the event runs 10 to 3 p.m. Fantastic. Cannot wait at the Alexandria Zoo. Katie Hirsch, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks very much. Telling us all about it. We appreciate it so much. And we'll be right back with more Good Day Sin Law right after this break.